Well, as you know, it is Halloween, and while some of us might be thinking about ghosts and goblins purely for fun, our next guest communicates with those who have passed away. It's an everyday thing for her. Yeah, Patricia Griffin is a professional medium, intuitive, and clairvoyant, and she joins us here today live on CT Style. Patricia, thank you so much for joining us, first of all. Thank you for having me. And, and I think this is the first time where both Teresa and I were crying before the show. I mean, it's, it's true, just we were both kind of speechless. Incredible things. How, how does it work for you? It just comes through automatically. It just kind of turns on and I just get thoughts that come out and I mm -hmm. see images and I hear things and it just all intercepts into a message. But so accurate. I mean, oh we had, we've never met before and you knew my parents' names, my grandma, like just incredible yeah. things that someone was saying to yeah, her. Absolutely. It's just, just wild things. And, and it's one of those things if, if you've never had a reading done and you're kind of like, ah, I'm, I'm not sure if this is really true. I mean, for, for both of us. So, so two people have confirmed, I mean, just a few minutes ago, this is the real deal and, and, and a very emotional roller coaster. Do you, do you feel that as well? Do you feel the emotion? I absolutely do. For yours in particular, I had so much love coming through from your person it was amazing so yes I do feel the emotions that come through yeah. and uh, we were talking about someone uh, in my family that that couldn't speak and you were actually feeling a sore throat when it was coming through absolutely I mean, that's, yeah. that's really incredible stuff so when did you realize you had this talent I've had it my entire life but it wasn't until about five years ago that I really realized to what extent like mm -hmm. that I was really a medium I didn't know I just thought okay I'm a little <laughs> different and about five years ago I realized it Wow. So, and then it came to a point where I couldn't deny so it. So how do you channel that? I mean, do, do you, how, how does it start for you? What do you mean? In, 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 in terms of how do you make the connection? Do you, are, are you walking down the street and you just look at somebody and you say, hey, you're... Uh... It happens like that, but sometimes they're very respectful, but I don't walk up to just anybody, but um, it does just happen. It just turns on. Wow. And you have to do a little bit of deciphering because they won't, they won't give you clear-cut answers some of the time. They cannot communicate like you and I. It's a little bit different. Hmm. Because uh, we were working, we were trying to figure out the number 17, we were trying to get which month it was from, but eventually it, it really did all come together. It's kind of like a puzzle piece. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. It's a puzzle and you're always missing five pieces and being a medium, you have to mm -hmm. figure it out. Wow. Now, are you able to shut this off if you want to? Um, you can't you can't turn it off, okay. but they're very respectful of me, okay. and they don't always like wherever I go, they don't say, "Okay, go read that person." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're very respectful. So it's really now. Is anybody coming through to you right now while you're here in the studio? You've just besides us. I think because I'm so <laughs> nervous. No, there's nothing to be nervous about. Okay. Come on now. Okay. No, nothing's coming through at this very moment. Yeah. Well, that's because you're having so much fun here on the Yeah, that's what it is. I'm so, having a great time. Such a wonderful experience here on CT Style. So, so do, you, do you see things? Do you feel things? I mean, what, what does it feel like for you? I do. I see dead people. Um, sometimes I don't know who's alive or dead. I'm looking, I'll go, oh, okay. Um, and I feel things. I feel people's emotions. Um, if I walk into a mall and somebody's negative, I will literally pick it up. If somebody has a problem with their leg, I'll pick it up. So wherever I go, I have to be very careful. And wow. She knew I was limping prior to my surgery. No kidding. She said, was something wrong with the way you, you walked? Really? And there obviously That's was. bizarre. I know. Wow. So incredible. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, really <laughs> powerful stuff. I mean, it's... I, it was tough starting the show today because Teresa and I were just sitting here both kind of like all down. We were both crying before the I show. Know, it, and was, then, it was so emotional, uh, but, yeah. but it was a happy message that it, you know we were trying to get across. Absolutely, yeah. to let you know that they're okay and that they love you and they're always with you because that's mm. what they try to do. Very wow. powerful stuff. Where, where can people check you out? Where can uh, people get their readings? Okay, sure. Um, my main base, um, my home office is in um, at the Black Cat Mystical Comic Book Shop in Bridgeport. and. Um, I'm there. I don't really have my schedule yet, but I also have um, a base um, in Monroe too. But I'm kind of moving okay. back to Bridgeport. Well, we'll find you online, right? You, you will can definitely. You could definitely find me online. Yes. And it's definitely worth uh, giving yeah. uh, Patty a call. Absolutely. Really incredible stuff. Yeah, thank, thank you. Again. Thank you so much. It was very nice yeah. meeting you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Too. All right. Coming up, our special Halloween edition of CT Style continues.